This is Sam Trent and James Curtis, and we've uh, made a presentation on CRC cards. Uh, so let's go ahead and get right into that. So CRC cards are a great brainstorming tool when it comes to designing object-oriented programs. The cards are designed to help give a feel for how all the different software components will function with each other. Because this technique doesn't dive into the technical aspects of how the program works, CRC cards help a lot with trying to get the general idea of how a program will work without getting sidetracked on all the technical intricacies of how a program will work. It's a great way to see if the general design of the project you're planning is a viable one. There are a couple of components to CRC cards, namely the class, responsibilities, and collaboration. The class component of a CRC card is basically just the name you want to give it. Typically to name the class, you want to name it something that will make sense within the scope of your program. The responsibility portion is basically what information the class will store, what the class will be capable of doing, and what the behavior is. For the collaboration portion, you want to show the relationship your class has with the other classes that are also within your project. Let's talk about some of the advantages, disadvantages, and our recommendations that we found for this project. Starting off with the advantages, due to the fact that CRC cards are a relatively simple method of organizing your project, it's very easy to get a lot of people involved. This really helps development because the more people that are helping with the design of the project, the more people will understand how each class works and how they all relate with each other. Making a CRC card is extremely easy and inexpensive. It is very effective, a strategy that doesn't cost a lot to invest in. Because of the premise of the CRC card, cards, it is so basic, it's very easy for non-technical people to understand and to work with. CRC cards are a great way to create a clear and concise design because it lays out an, ex a, an excellent roadmap for all the team members involved on the project. CRC cards can be done by anyone because the technical details are not accounted for, so this allows anyone to help contribute to the project by making a CRC card. As for the disadvantages, while CRC cards are easy to understand and correct or create, they lack a lot of the de technical details that really show how a class's member function needs to be implemented. It provides a good overall approach to a class, but the technical implementation is still unknown. CRC cards require a lot of involvement. It's difficult for the cards to be effective if not everyone is contributing to it. The CRC cards don't really give a sense of order as to which uh, classes need to be implemented. The overall structure of the project could still be ambiguous, even with many CRC cards. If the scale of the project gets too big, making CRC cards may become less and less effective as the project grows in size throughout the time period. As for our recommendation, we found that CRC cards work best when you are trying to plan out your classes for a project that is object-oriented. CRC cards would work great for our project because there are some clear examples of when CRC cards would really uh, help benefit our design. We think that implementing CRC cards in our project is a must because it will help create a clear roadmap of how we want to design our classes and for how they want to be implemented. There are some projects that CRC cards just won't work for. Projects that are large in scale or that have a lot of technical technicalities to them uh, probably won't benefit much from these cards. They are also somewhat limiting 
um, with what you can put on them. For example, you are restricted to putting in the class name, the responsibilities, and the collaborators. However, we still believe that CRC cards will be a good fit for our project. So now that we've gone over some of the details of what a CRC card is, let's go over how we can create some of our own. So to create a CRC card, you can begin by writing out a scenario which identifies the major actors and actions what the actors do. Only write out actions and actors specific to that particular scenario. Nouns should be turned into classes of the card. Verbs typically turn into the responsibilities of the card. And collaborators are the other cards with which the cards will be interacting. So here we have a couple of cards that we've designed that could fit in well with our project. We decided to put this method to the test and see if these cards would help benefit us in some way in understanding how each of these classes interact with different components of our project. We really believe that this method will help benefit everybody in our group because we think this helps create a clearer roadmap as to what each class is trying to achieve. For example, our first card we have here is our banker card. We feel that this banker is an important aspect to our program that it should have its own class. With this class, we expect that the banker should be able to handle all the money for the account holder, access the money for the account holder, report the account holder's monthly progress saving money, and keep track of that account holder's transaction history. We believe that this particular class should collaborate with just the account holder and with the database. Our second card is for the account holder. The responsibilities for this class be, are being able to request to the banker to take money out and to put money into their account. The account holder also has the ability to decide what they want to invest with their money. The last card that we came up with is for our, our database. Our database will be reasonable, will be uh, designed to manage all of the different accounts that have been created on the app. It will also be responsible for keeping track of how much money each account holder has. We believe that CRC cards will greatly benefit our project and help create a clear roadmap so that all members of our team can understand exactly what each class needs to do. Uh, we think that this same strategy can apply to many other aspects of our project as well.